you know I personally love being able to give information to help our viewers. And I feel like this is a different way of thinking that may help all of us. I am excited to welcome to the show today, Sherry Foost is talking about the narrative method. Good morning, Sherry. First off, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks so much. So let's dive right in. I, you know, I feel like there's so much divisiveness that is in this country. And I feel like if we can find ways, you know, to work together, just respect each other a little bit more, it would help. I mean, is that what you're seeing first off, kind of this divisiveness, and maybe that's where your message can come in? Absolutely. And I really want to say that even though we wind up blaming each other, the truth is everyone is impacted by this. It's not, we did not individually create this culture that's kind of gone too far. We all have the capacity to connect. We all have the capacity to feel safe but we need to be in an environment that allows us to open up and sort of respond to people the way we do our close friends who already know us. You know, people are saying that we've lost the ability to communicate. Do you agree with that statement? I don't. I think that we have lost more opportunities in which we can freely communicate. But it is one of the most primal needs we have, not just for our emotional health, but for our physical health. There's not a, you know, a hermit out there who's really doing well. We need meaningful bonds because life is hard and we all have to cope with so many struggles. When you're in a group of people and one person is brave enough to share something that they're struggling with, inevitably, everyone nods because even if it's not the same exact circumstance, there's only a certain set of emotions and we all have all of them and we can empathize because of them. Uh, Sherry, you're so right. People do, you naturally do that. You naturally gravitate. Well, and I was going to ask if you had any kind of rules of engagement when it comes to working on those interpersonal communication skills. You know, we were doing the nonverbal there, but what about the actual communication skills? Well, nonverbals are really important. In fact, they account for most of our communication. But just as a basic, easy rule of thumb, mutual respect and confidentiality. If someone tells you something, they deserve to feel as though you're going to hold it with respect and regard. Um, when you're listening to someone else's story, we have a tendency, not because we're bad, but because this is human nature, we have to make quick decisions. So we have a tendency to start linking it to other experiences we can recall. If instead, when you're listening to someone, you can put yourself aside and try and hear it from their perspective, not only will they feel gratified to be heard and understood, but you feel gratified to have been able to provide that for someone. You know what, Sherry, I, I love when we're able to get information and get something that's attainable. And I feel like that in itself is a really good tip. And I want to get go ahead and move forward and talk actually about how this is considered a method, the narrative method, as I was introducing you. And you use this method to help others all across the board and even do it in a charitable way. We only have about 30 seconds left. So how can people join the salons, as you call them? Yeah. Well, if you go to our website, the narrative method.org, you go into the calendar, you you can sign up for one or a zillion sessions. They are free. We want this to be passed on through the culture. We want people to be able to enjoy each other and enjoy the benefits of deep connection. We also have cards, the TNM DIY human cards, which have prompts on them and allow you to run your own group because you know what? You don't need a license to use your humanity. I love that. Again, just giving us things to keep in mind and better communicate. Sherry, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much. Take care, okay?